standing ovation with a two-point lead. Coming out to start the third quarter for Chicago. Jerry Sloan, Norm Van Leer, Chet Walker, Bob Love, and Nate Thurman. And coming out for the Warriors, Clifford Ray, Rick Berry, Butch Beer, Charlie Johnson, and NBA Rookie of the Year, Keith Wilkes. Jerry? Don, I think one very interesting stat of the first half, Chicago's big edge in rebounding, and when you have a big edge in rebounding, that means simply two things. Number one, you haven't shot well in a particular quarter or the whole ball game. And secondly, with a team like Chicago, you just cannot allow them to play their game, and you're not allowing yourself to play your kind of game if you don't rebound. And the third quarter is now underway. Chet Walker comes right down, puts up the first shot of the half. It's a four-point lead for Chicago, 54 to 50. Here's Butch Beard against Jerry Sloan. Looks inside to Clifford Ray. He is defended well against by Nate Thurman. Now they get it to Ray. Men cut off. Keith Wilkes puts it up. Too much there, and Jerry Sloan, the leading rebounder among the NBA guards, takes it down Van Leer to distance outside to Walker. Get Walker two for two here in the third quarter, and all of a sudden Chicago's opened up a six-point lead, and Walker has 13. Well, Van Leer has really had a sensational game so far. He's just played great. He really Score, has. Penetrated. Keith Wilkes puts it up, and he gets it for Golden State. That's one of the few good shots that Golden State's had for a while. Al Adels mentioned his team lost a little bit of poise once they had their lead and Chicago made the run at him so what he wants to do is try to run a good sound offense this half Chicago really did in the second quarter they regrouped and played that great defense after they were burned badly in the first 12 minutes here comes Golden State in the run Butch Beard leads off to Keith Wilkes against Bob Love Barry is open Rick Barry from 18 feet puts it in on the line and all of a sudden Golden State is right back to within two that's the one thing about Golden State. They can make up a lot of points in a hurry. Al Adel surprised me and said that he didn't feel they could blow anyone out, and they're the leading team in basketball as far as offensive play is concerned. Golden State scored over 108 points a game during the regular season. Now Chicago comes right back and takes the four-point lead as Jerry Sloan has five points for the Bulls. Rick Perry. Looks to go to the basket. Dribbling one-on-one -on -one against Jerry Sloan. Sloan hawking him. Barry puts it up. Just a little too much on it. The offensive board is taken down as it's slapped out to Charlie Johnson. He's missed his last five shots after making his first seven. And the ball will come inbound to Golden State. Beard looks inside. Wilkes is down low. Cliff Ray comes out of the high post against Thurman. That leaves some room in the lane. They try to go into the lane to Wilkes. The ball slapped away, picked up by Love. Here's a pass to Van Leer. Wilkes comes back to defend against him, puts it up, and loses the shot. He is down and went into the floor. Here is Rick Barry shooting for Golden State and hitting it off the run. A quick jump shot off the run by Rick Barry, and the game is now a two-point game for Chicago. Barry with 10. And here is a technical foul signal. A technical foul is indicated. Uh, Norm Van Leer. Van Leer was very upset by the, the last play when he drove with a basket. He went in and shot the ball, and of course it looked like he lost control when he shot it, but Clifford Ray ran into him after the shot, and Van Leer thought he should have had the foul anyway. Rick Barry, the number one free throw shooter in the league, puts it in. He's got about the only guy who shoots it underhand. He can make him blindfolded. He'll hit 20 in a row. Well, I think if you watch the, the way this guy shoots him and watch his percentage, a lot of people maybe should go back that way. Right now we have 9.28 to play in the third quarter. There's a timeout been called on the floor with the Chicago Bulls now leading by a single point. They were up by two at the half. There are a couple of sports notables. On the right is Franklin Miuli, the president of the Golden State Warriors. He wears that little Sherlock Holmes hat. He says that's to keep the loyal opposition from knowing which way he's going. And the man next to him, the redoubtable Charles O. Finley of Oakland Athletics fame. Franklin's quite pleased with his team. You've known him for a lot of years, Jerry. That's right. He's very pleased with his team. And I think the reason he's so pleased with this team is that they, they're, they're the kind of people he likes. They're close-knit. They play hard. Uh, he seems to have no problem with any of the individuals. And uh, he's very, very much kind of a family owner. I'm a curious 
fact here is the fact that Charlie Finley's Oakland A's are playing right now at White Sox Park, but he's at the basketball game. <laughs> the way they played the last few years, I don't think he has to worry what they're going to do. That's kind of automatic, I guess. Now, Butch Beard, who got his fourth foul the last time, he is a little bit of foul trouble, more than a little early in the third quarter, as Chicago has a three-point lead, 60 to 57. Cliff Ray looks inside. He's one-on-one -on -one against Sloan on an overmatch. Sloan slaps the ball away. Charlie Johnson gets it. Goes to Wilkes. And Nate Thurman powers his way over everybody else to get the basketball for Chicago. Chicago's doing a great job rebounding, and that's why they're getting their offense down. They're very patient. It's real good shots now. Gary Sloan goes down low. Thurman looks for a man cutting. Nobody moving. He takes it himself. You'll see him do that about twice a season. Throw it up from way out like that. Nate Thurman's an inside player and an excellent one. Rick Barry gets the ball. They double right up on him. Back pass goes to Beard. Off the run. Puts Beard. Puts it up. The rebound is over to Van Leer. He leads the break. Chicago running with Van Leer cracking the whip down the middle. Feeds off to Sloan from 20 feet. And Chicago opens up a five-point lead, 62-57, as Sloan now has seven points. That man, Norm Van Leer, just a little move, looked like he was going to penetrate toward the middle. And Jerry Sloan trailing the breakdown. He gets a real good shot. Barry almost lost the ball, saves it nicely. Inside the beard, drives the lane. He took a step before he put the ball on the floor. And so it turns over to the Chicago Bulls. 62 to 57, they have a five-point lead. They were tied early in the game at four and then Golden State opened it up with incredible first quarter shooting 70% as a team. Chicago came back to take the lead at the half and now Van Leer who has quarterbacked him so nicely all day puts in his 17th and 18th points and Al Adels is going to his bench to get a young guard in back in the game to try to offset Van Leer who's burning Johnson badly. Now Golden State comes back. 15 points are on the board for Butch Beard. You know, one thing about Chicago, they've got the tempo in their favor right now, but with Golden State, uh, give them an inch, and they seem like they'll want to take a mile because they can surely get back in the ball game very, very quickly with a player like Barry doing this big scoring for them. Barry is shut off as that Sloan gets the ball, knocks it away, it's picked up by Chet Walker, up court pass to Van Leer. Feeds off to Bob Love. And Butter, as they call him, doesn't get up against the ball. He goes to Walker. Hit the open man, they call it, and Chicago does. And now, all of a sudden, they have their biggest lead of the game, a seven-point advantage in Golden State. Wants to talk it over. Al Adel summons his team to a conference as the Golden State Warriors are down by seven with 6.54 left to play in the third quarter. The biggest Chicago lead yet, a seven-point advantage with 6.44 to go in the third quarter. Barry penetrates, feeds off to Butch Beard. The ball is slapped out to Johnson. He has gone cold, and now we have a whistle underneath and a foul call. Now it's a three-second violation. I tell you, this Chicago team, uh, they are so well coached. They just take advantage of every mistake that you make, and it's a tremendous credit to Dick Mata what they've done in this ball game. They didn't give up. They came back, and they're playing their ball game now. Chet Walker, who's been burning Golden State in the third quarter, hits again his third outside shot. And now Chicago has opened up a big lead with 6-10 to go in the third quarter. The Bulls up by nine points. Rick Barry, who's been defended against very nicely, they triple up on him as he drives into the lane. Wilkes is free. Three men on the ball, so a couple of guys have to be open, and Wilkes was one of them. One thing that Chicago is doing really well, when someone penetrates in the middle, there's always two or three white shirts there. They won't let Barry go to the basket. So consequently, everything he's done has been outside, and he hasn't hit well from out there, and it's really, he's really hurting right now. Thurman slapped at the ball and went right out to Chet Walker. And Wilkes way up to get the rebound for Golden State. Here comes Beard to lead the break. Chicago again in trenches and blockades the middle. And we're going to have a foul call against Nate Thurman. His second. Okay, here we have Butch Beard driving the middle. Notice he jumps back into Nate Thurman on this particular play. And the official, of course, many times will give the offensive player the advantage, and Butch Beard has a chance to make a couple of free throws.
That brings Golden State back to within six. Oh, he's going cold to the line there. Three. Guy that has really hurt Chicago in the regular season. Gets them both. And it's a five-point game. Chicago, the Bulls have the ball. Chicago Stadium sold out. Game three, the series tied at a victory apiece. 17 points for Butch Beard. He had 13 in the first quarter. Did not score in the second quarter. Van Leer matched against Charlie Johnson. Gets around and turned the corner on him. Van Leer puts it up, and he hits the deck so hard. And draws a foul. But Van Leer, Jerry, must spend a week in the whirlpool. Between he does. Them. He goes up. And he shoots the ball. Knows how he delays. And he really tried to draw that foul. And he did a good job of it on that particular play. But he has really been a, had a great ball game here today. And this is kind of ball game I think that Dick Mata knows to expect out of his backcourt. Jerry Sloan he hasn't scored many points, but he's always in there doing the kind of job that he does every ball game. And when you have two players that come and play like this every night, you're going to get a lot accomplished. Now Van Leer, who's having one of his biggest games ever in the playoffs. He has scored 20 points. His floor game, if you've been with us, has been outstanding, absolutely superior. And it is 70 to 63. Chicago with a seven-point lead. Wilkes fading back, arcs it up, but can't get the shot, and Thurman takes it down. Sloan puts Wilkes down to the deck. Brings it up court, goes to Van Leer. Inside they go. Chet Walker, a double up on the ball. Golden State starting to double on the ball now. Van Leer tries to come across the lane, feeds it out to Bob Love. He's been quiet in the third quarter. Barry sweeps down the board, and here is a foul call. It'll go against Jerry Sloan. Blocking. And Jerry Sloan, Jerry West, now has four. Okay, here's the shot. A shot from outside by Bob Love. Barry just simply inside. Sloan. Puts a pretty good fake on, but of course, officials didn't call it. Jerry Sloan now has four fouls, and that could be a factor late in this ball game because he is so important to Chicago's team. Rick Ferry, an intense, uncompromising competitor. He's pretty much automatic. He gives nose, and it's 70 to 65. Rick Ferry hits the free throw. And Rick Ferry has now scored 13 points. Van Leer. Gets down the lane, puts it up. Goal tending. The ball was on the way down. When Clifford Ray, an ex-Chicago Bull, rejected it. And so Van Leer is better with his 21st and 22nd points of this game. Just a great quickness inside, and Clifford Ray caught the ball on its way down, and consequently it's goal tending. Barry feeds off to Wilkes. He's been getting the open shot. This time, Keith Wilkes gets the roll. And again, it's a five-point advantage, Chicago. You know, I think Keith Wilkes probably benefits more from Rick Barry's passing than any member of this ball club. Uh, he can make the outside shot consistently, and he moves to the open spot real well, and, of course, Barry always seems to pick him out. Well, just about his whole game offensively is without the ball, Keith Wilkes, because Barry handles it a great deal and should as the other forward. So, consequently, Wilkes is usually the weak forward, that term they use for the forward who's away from the ball. Wilkes now one-on-one -on -one against Chester Walker, fading back and arcing it again, and... The rebound comes down to Cliff Ray, goes to Barry. Rebound to Wilkes, he'll try again. Wilkes puts it up, basket doesn't go, he stepped on the inbounds line. I think a remarkable trade of all of Johnny Woods' ball players. They all seem to have great composure on the floor. They don't get upset, they play their own game. And I was I just going to say that about him. He came right down after stepping on the inbounds line. No outward sign of displeasure, it's part of the game. He goes right back down the other way. Well, they come into this having played under pressure so many times. Now Thurman comes out, and Tom Borwinkle goes back in for the Chicago Bulls. 3.22 to play in the third quarter. Chicago leads by... <laughs> Look at all this. Van Leer wings it out on the flank to Chet Walker. There's no shot. They go back to Van Leer against Phil Smith, a rookie from San Francisco. Van Leer puts it up, and we have a whistle from Richie Powers. 24 second violation. I think they got a little mixed up. They tried to get in their offense, and that's one of the few times in the second half that Golden State's been able to play good defense on Chicago. And consequently, with a 24 second violation, they lose the ball. Keith Wilkes puts his head down, loses Chet Walker with a fake, and draws a foul as he goes by him. The foul call on Chet Walker, and Chicago being under the limit. 
The ball comes inbounds to Golden State from the side. One, one reason you can tell that he's a great basketball player, and we're referring to Keith Will, they look for this guy a lot. They're going to him now and That's right. trying to get him in, involved in their offense. What Here's another foul call. This one goes against Chet Walker, and he now has three. There's Chet Walker, and I really believe that uh, that uh, Keith Wilts on that particular play hooked Chet Walker, spun himself around him on the inside, and they call a foul on Walker, and I think the officials have missed that. If you watch his, watch his left arm, his left arm hooks him, they call the foul. And they indeed are going to Wilts. Jerry, what's the key uh, for a guard leading the fast break? They seem to pause just before they hit midcourt and kind of survey what's down court. Well, I really think the most important thing is to know the people that are coming down behind you. Know who they are. If there's a big center coming down behind you, of course, you don't want to lay the ball to him. And I also think that there are certain shooters you'd like to get the ball to, and uh, particularly in crucial situations. But I think the most important thing is to think pass first instead of think shot. That's the guy that's open, huh? That's right. Bill Smith puts it up off the front of the iron and Borwinkle gets it on that hard carom right into his hands. And they go to Sloan and Chicago comes back down court leading by five points with 235 to play in the third quarter. Bob Love has been quiet in the third quarter. Borwinkle leans to the basket. We're going to have a foul call. It's against Golden State. Okay, here's. Clifford Ray is running Tom Borwinkle, and Rick Berry comes over and tries to pick up the foul, but I think you can see that Rick Berry was not stopped on that particular play. His feet went in place, and they called the foul. That's Rick Berry's third foul. Big Tom Borwinkle at the free throw line. He gives Chicago a six-point lead, 73 to 67. We have two and a half minutes to go in the third quarter here at Chicago Stadium as Beard goes inside to Ray against four Winkle. A lot of men moving, four men cutting off him. But nobody shakes free. Here's Barry finally with the ball, tries to lead off to Ray. And he couldn't control the pass. Great switching defense by Chicago. Despite all the motion in the Golden State offense, they can't lose the Bulls. Well, I think Rick is going to have to start looking for a shot. He's looking for the pass all the time now, and he's made two or three turnovers that the pass just wasn't there. So he's going to have to start looking for a shot. Bob Love working to get three inside. Van Leer keeps it and puts it way up and in. High arcing shot over the defense, and it's now 75-67 as Van Leer has scored 24 points for Chicago. Barry on the outside. Love has done a nice job against him defensively, forcing him into shots he's not been able to hit here down in the third quarter. And Lear leads the way on the run against Butch Beard. Love puts it up. Line drive shot, and Butch Beard goes way up, gets the rebound. He was fouled by Van Leer. Van Leer with one technical to his discredit so far. Didn't want another one. That means out. That's right. And Norm has the kind of temper that. When things don't go his way sometimes, he gets rather volatile, and uh, he has been a recipient of two technical fouls in a lot of ball games. Chicago Bulls right now have their biggest lead of the game, an eight-point advantage, 75 to 67. Norm Van Leer, boy, he's been a great, great player in this game for the Chicago Bulls. He has really keyed their offense and played great defense after he was burned in the first quarter by Charlie Johnson for 14 points. He's pretty much shut him off. Well, he's not only shut him off, he's come back to burn Charlie Johnson himself. But this guy plays very, very hard every night. And uh, a player like him is going to accomplish a lot, even though he doesn't score a lot of points. As you mentioned, their two backcourt players are as intensive as any players I've seen in the NBA. He invariably, along with Sloan, is one of the leaders in the NBA in personal fouls. They play that aggressive defense. Van Leer played college basketball at St. Francis of Loretto, where the great Maurice Stokes came from. It is 75-68, Chicago in the lead. We have 1.35 to play in the third quarter. Butch Beard now with 17 points. Roland Garrett gets inside and gets the shot. He has four points. Golden State's doing much too much dribbling now on their offense. And you're not going to beat a good team this way with dribbling all the time. Butch Beard getting into the lane puts it up. 
And again, it's a 77-70, a seven-point lead for the Chicago Bulls. Under a minute to go now in the third quarter. The Chicago Bulls setting their offense. Borwinkle comes out high. Fighting Cliff Ray for position. Four men spin off. Roland Garrett gets the ball. Looks for a man cutting. Goes to Borwinkle. And there's a foul call inside. Okay. Garrett goes, just goes up with a shot. And Borwinkle rolls inside. And he's fouled by... Bill Smith on the inside on that particular play. But Chicago's done a real good job with their offense the second half. They have driven well. Gary Sloan drives across the lane. The ball teeters and lays in. Well, that's the thing that you do. If you have patience, sooner or later, the offensive team is going to have the advantage, I think, in a basketball game. And they have great patience. 24 seconds as Keith Wilkes goes to the basket. He draws a foul. Roland Garrett hacked at him. But in the third quarter, the Chicago Bulls have extended their lead from the two points they were up by at halftime, 52 to 50. But they're now up by seconds. nine, 79 to 70, with 23 seconds to go in the third quarter. 